This video is Inverter 101. In particular, how to turn off the power save mode from your inverter. So I'm in the back of my RV, my van, and you can see I'm in here. Here's where my inverter is located at. This is the screenshot. So I wanna walk this through you, for you rather. So here's the Freedom X, and what matters is here are the different settings. They're an escape, arrow, and okay button. So this is what the panel looks like on your RV, on your inverter, and let me show that to you. See, um, escape, up arrow, and okay. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna page up, and I'm gonna hold these for a second so everyone can kind of uh, look what I'm doing. Going down to my page 72, go fast. This is how you change your configurations. So I'll upload this if I can to the page, but this is what's important. I'm gonna zoom in on this so you can read it, and then I'm gonna do it for you. So pressing okay for three seconds, scrolling through, choosing your selection, etc. This is what I'm about to go do for you for this reason. I'm gonna page down two more pages. These are just all the different settings and we wanna look at setting number five. Number five is power save time. You can go from off or one to 25 hours. The default is 25 hours. Unfortunately, I learned this the hard way at about three in the morning. And so when you're boondocking, as you know, you try to save as much lithium power as you can. And I had been more than 25 hours boondocking, uh, saving power. And what happened was about three in the morning, I got a little cold. Woke up to try to turn a heater on and nothing happened. And the reason was because in power save mode, it power saves after 25 hours. So especially now in the winter, um, you want to set this to off. Now, of course, in the fall, you don't because in the fall you use a big blanket. But right now, as we enter winter, you want this to be off so that your power save mode never happens. So, that you're, so the inverter is always trickling, trying to see if you've got power or not. It uses very, very little. I learned this, you know, the hard way. So let me go for it real, real fast. We're going to go back to here. Take the screenshot for you again. Oops. And I'm going to walk exactly through this. So I'll give you five seconds to, so you can stop it here if you want to later. And exactly how to do the um, Xantrax Freedom Inverter. Oops. So let me, do, let me do it for you. Sorry, I just pulled my headset out. Sorry about that. Sure, with that, pull my headset out. So now we're inside the inverter. And the first step, here are three, here are three symbols. Our first step is to press and hold the OK button for three seconds to enter the configuration mode. That's the top button up here. See, it says escape. I'm sorry, it says, down, down here, I'm sorry, it says OK. It's closer so I can see it. We're gonna press and hold this for three seconds. There it goes. Now, as you can see, I'm in um, configuration mode. Now I'm going to press the upper. Right now, of course, we're looking at number zero, and we want number five. So we're going to scroll until we get to number five. Now, of course, mine is set to off. If that was, if it's set to 25 or anything else. The next step is to press OK. That'll change it. And then go back here and press this until you get to off. And it can be, if it's on 25 now, it should be one click or maybe 20 clicks if you're on five hours. The bottom line is you press the up arrow until you get to exactly what you want that setting to be. Then press OK again to confirm it. And I'll hear, you'll hear a beep. And then to get out of these six, you can escape. And you come out of that mode. So right now you can see I'm on the regular, regular mode. That's all there is to it. Again, I'm gonna take this one last screenshot for you of exactly how to do it. Very simple. Everyone should check this. My recommendation, I was at a rally a couple weeks ago and everyone checked this and almost everyone was wrong in terms of being on off. In other words, your inverter will, over time, 
go into power save mode and not give you power. Okay, hope this helps. Bye-bye.